most holiday decorations and Christmas trees have been taken down and packed away. But there's another holiday you should be mindful of, National Houseplant Appreciation Day, which is today. Cammie Jacobson, who is the president of the Minnehaha County Master Gardeners, probably already knew that. No doubt she's already had a fiesta with her ficus and a shindig with her succulents, but she's managed to replant herself in our studio so she can give my olive tree a reason to celebrate, too. <laughs> Party time, right? Yes. Okay, so houseplant appreciation. There's so many types of houseplants, but I keep veering towards these not natural to our habitat plants, right? right? And I'm like bound and determined, including an olive tree. So just to share in case people are maybe unaware, this is my olive tree when it was a baby. So this is like maybe two years ago, I think. So it's, it's pretty small. And it's yeah. just in the pot it came in. Um, I gotta, I'll update maybe on Facebook later a picture of it currently in its current state. But it's doing okay. Like it's a healthy plant, but I've been wanting to maybe make it a little healthier and see if I can get it to actually grow olives. So you've got some tips. Yeah. Okay, so what yeah. do I need to know for an olive tree? Well, first of all, water it well. Has to have good drainage so that it's not pooling but you do want to water it, let it dry out, water it, water it really faithfully. I would fertilize it, um, especially, um, well, not so much in the winter, but uh, nine months of the year, do a, do a regular fertilizing on, on your, and, and on your other trees. Um, and you already have it potted, and I don't know what pot, but it's nice to have it be in a big pot. It's in a big pot now, a big terracotta pot, because I felt like that would like let some yes. of the moisture go. Yes, so then go. The, gro the roots can just kind of spread out and just sit there and go to town. Yes. Okay, and yes. you say cactus soil is the best, too. Cactus, that I don't think well, I did. Well, and that's because drainage. You want mm -hmm. good drainage. And you think about where it grows in Italy or Spain. They're not gr grown in nice, rich compost soil. They're grown in, you know rocky sandy good very good drainage soil and the you always want to watch that you would overwater or have it be waterlogged if it starts to look pale or drop leaves it's being either underwatered or overwatered okay so then it really needs six to eight hours of sunshine really good sunshine not touching the window but good sunshine and you you have that you yes. have it in a sunroom i do and I take it outside in the summer. And that is a, that's fantastic. You, if you can take it out, if you don't have a house and you have a balcony, take it out on that. Just do something patio. It's they they're out. They love it to be. That's really a nice thing to just let it be in the fresh air and the natural sunlight. I think I over I baby my trees. I mean, so I also have the grapefruit tree, lemon tree, lime tree, mm -hmm. and I get so nervous about them being in bad weather that I pull them inside and they really actually like to be roughed up a little. Yeah, right? and like, you said your lemon, you thought maybe something ate it. Well, that's nature. Yeah. That's natural pruning. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's actually okay. Okay, that's okay. And, and maybe you're not going to get, you know, fruit that year, but it's fine in the whole long picture of things. Okay, so one thing that you've taught me on a lot of the trees outside are when you're pruning them to get, you know, a main stem or try to cut off some of those, like, things that are taking away. Is that going to be true of an olive tree? Well, so if you wanted to bear fruit, um, first of all, most dwarf olives don't bear fruit. And that's a typical one that's inside. It, it'll grow to six feet. It's a nice size, very nice bush. And the leaves are great. They go well with the color palettes of our decorating mm -hmm, right now, yeah. these kind of gray It's very trendy. Stone. It's very trendy. Um, they're, they're so cool. So if you don't want it to bear fruit, just get a dwarf and, you know, if you want it to bear fruit, once it does, cut off the branches where it bears fruit because it's not going to bear on those again. Okay, and we have up on the screen this information you need for bearing fruit, and it's about the chill hours, and, right. and I need you to explain this to us a little bit better. So pretend your tree lives in Tuscany. Okay. This is and, where, they, where they thrive. Right. And right now, it's not nice in Tuscany. Okay. You know, it's cool. And um, they need to have that, those chill hours of 50 degrees or less, but not, you know, not freezing, um, for 300 hours. And it doesn't have to be consecutive. It can be nights and then sunny in the day. You know, it doesn't have to and But you do have to get that and try to do it in the winter. And that can be tricky, kind of what, where in your house is 50. Right. And so a lot of people, you said you put it in terracotta, a lot of people Plant them in a big pot, but a lighter pot or a lot pot on wheels, because yeah. you might be rolling it. Mine's from on place. wheels. Oh, yeah, because you have to kind of roll it from place to place mm -hmm. to come up with that place if you want it. 
to bear fruit. If Can you I want take the flowers, it outside, though? Can I, so like during the day? So, you know, we're looking at some weather that's below 50 degrees during the day, but not freezing during the day, oftentimes in the winter. Can I roll it out onto the, if it's, to the back if porch? If it's solid above freezing and below 50, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I'm not doing it overnight, I'm just planting it at night. Maybe right. if it's going to get too right. cold, but if right. I'm leaving it outside over the day, that'd yeah. be enough. I, th I think so. Okay. And I want to do that in the winter. Well, that's that's a season it typically happens. So I just think, you know, that's when they kind of shut down and and you if you're bringing it outside, you're giving it a nice hot summer. So that's, you know, can it have a frost a few times? I mean, in Tuscany, I imagine they it does. They can have a frost. Right? Yeah. So I probably could extend the length of time I'm leaving it outside before I bring it in in the, in the fall, too. Like, I can really wait. So it's, it's, it can stay in those lower it, temperatures it for quite a while. It can stay in the 30s, 40s, yes. Until it starts probably freezing on a yeah. you know, pretty regular right. basis. Right. And then I can get fruit. Yeah. I don't know if I can or yeah. not. I mean, but it just it sounds like such a fun idea, but they are there, really pretty. There are a few varieties that are better at fruiting, so I don't know which one you have. But when you're researching on which to get, there are, you can, there are several varieties that bear fruit. Pick the one you want. Some of them are, that are not dwarf and bear fruit are naturally a little smaller. And that's because a, a regular olive tree is a 20, 30 foot tree. Yeah. 20 kind of around. That's a big tree. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, then pruning it aggressively to stay in your eight or nine or 10 foot ceiling is going to always be, you know, so, but there are some that are a little smaller that bear fruit. And I find that it's leaning sometimes. You've taught us with other things mm -hmm. to stake it. Is that a good idea with an olive Or tree? rotate it. Or to rotate it. Is, is it leaning towards the sun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've, I have found this to be a little bit more challenging than my fruit trees, but some yeah. of these same things, I mean, we, we well, have might we need a live hole. <laughs> in South Dakota, and you're trying, you have all these wonderful trees, but you take them outside. The one thing I also want to mention is that they are really susceptible to scab or other, so just keep an eye on it and, and treat it immediately. All right, well. Insect, insecticidal soap or, you know. I'll keep working on it, and I'll yeah. update you when I get my olives. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>